In this video I'm going to talk about doing things over and over again. Repetition, also called looping in computer science. Let's take a look at just drawing a square. Drawing a square, we'll create a turtle and we know already how to uh, do things over and over again using a forever button. Uh, forever button simply, this particular forever button simply tasks this particular turtle to move forward over and over and over again until it reaches a particular height and then to turn and do the same thing. So let's see it in action. And there it goes, doing it over and over and over again. And to do that, let's take a look at the code. Here is our setup. We simply create the turtle and make it the uh, red and all the particular size too and put it in a particular place. And here's our go button. Um, we started off with heading equal to zero, heading north, and then moved just a little bit, just a very small amount. Uh, and it waits a very, very small amount. Um, and once it once its height has reached five, we simply turn it east after that, and then this particular uh, command takes over, and the same thing for east, and then for south, and then for west, and back again, over and over and over again. So we can use forever to create that repetitive effect. But let's see. But there are a number of other net logo constructs that allow you to repeat something and uh, the next one that I want to take a look at is a while. Uh, we can create the turtle again and we can draw the square using while um, and how did we do that? Well, to draw the first part of the square, the first leg that moves north we use this particular set of instructions. The while construct works in the following way. It's the word while followed by a test inside square brackets and followed by another set of square brackets containing commands. And these commands are going to be done as long as this test turns out to be true. And so what really happens is, while the wall core is less than 5, we're going to do this. And then we're going to come back and make that test again. Wall core less than 5. And then do this if that turns out to be true. And you can see that we'll do this over and over and over again while the turtle uh, height is smaller than 5. But, but, but uh, shortly thereafter, the turtle height will be a little bit larger than 5, and this test will fail. And when it does, we simply um, skip over all the commands in the square brackets and do the next command and keep going. We don't look back and we don't go, we don't do these commands again. So then the next thing we do is uh, we turn it east and we do the same thing except now we test for while the x core is less than or equal to five. And eventually that also fails after um, doing this. Oh, about. Uh, 10,000 times and then we go on to the next series of legs and once again it looks like this while core is less than 5, x core is less than 5 and that like. We can do exactly the same thing with yet another construct in that logo called repeat which you are probably familiar with because I've used it before and if we do that again identical but this time somewhat simpler Here's the repeat. We're going to repeat four times, and then we're going to reap 1,000 times. Excuse me, that was 1,000 previously, not 10,000. Uh, we're going to move forward and wait for a tiny little bit at the end of each tiny little segment, and that slows the turtle down. So we're going to we're going to move 10,000 times forward, which will move a total of 10 steps forward and then we're going to turn right and we're going to do that whole thing four times and that draws our square. Uh, from the NetLogo documentation we can see another useful way of using the while. Um, here is a test, this is straight out of the definition for the while in the NetLogo dictionary uh, and in this particular uh, demonstration uh, we will ask a particular turtle. Let's suppose that we have a very large number of turtles on the screen and they're crowded all over the place and there are many turtles on the same patch 
and we're going to ask a particular turtle, let's say turtle 12, sort of get out of any patch, sort of keep moving until you are on a patch by yourself. And the way to do that is we'll, we're going to ask, let's say, ask turtle 12 um, while while you see any other patches on the same patch, or any other turtles on the same patch that you were in, move forward, and then come back and test again. Are there any pa are there any turtles uh, crowding you on the same patch? Move forward one, and do this while this is, turns out to be true. In other words, while there are any turtles on the same patch that you are, and as soon as you find yourself alone on a patch, then we'll skip down beyond this, and we'll stop the loop. So that's a clever way of continuing to move when you don't know how, how many times you're going to have to do this. Now we're going to take a look at while used for creating um, lists. We're going to try to create a list. Um, here is a function or a reporter that will create a list of whole numbers in sequence between a small number and a large number, for instance. If we wanted the list 1, 2, 3, 4, we, will, we would ask for sequence 1, 4, and that would create our list 1, 2, 3, 4. That's what this code will do. Let's see how it does it. We create an empty list, which, um, which we're going to fill with the appropriate numbers, and we're going to create an, a, a variable called i, which is going to be our, our, a counter, and we're initially going to set it to the small number that sequence was given. And then uh, while i is less than or equal to large, we are going to modify the list by putting i at the end of the current list, and a copy of that, and we're going to put it back into LST, thereby adding a new number at the end of LST each time. And as we go through this loop, we'll make that number larger and larger and larger until that number is sufficiently too large uh, above the large number that we were given. And so if we try to uh, demo this or try this out, we'll say print sequence, let us say between 3 and 8, and there's a sequence between 3 and 8. So that's another use for the while. Here is a use for repeat. Um, we're interested in the sum of the numbers from 1 to some particular max number, like like 3, for instance. What is 1 plus 2 plus 3? Or if max number is 5, what is 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5? And we're going to create a subtotal, which is uh, our sum, and put a 0 in there. And we're going to take, create a counter called the number and we're going to initially um, give it a value of 1 and we're going to repeat this as many times as the user has requested here. Um, we're going to add into the subtotal so we're going to add the subtotal and the number and we're going to put that back into the subtotal and then we're going to uh, increment the counter by 1. So let's test this out sum of n numbers and we want 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 which we know to be 10 and there's our answer 10 now there's yet another repeating or looping construct called for each and the way for each works is that you give it a list and then it does this command for every element that it finds in the list picking out the elements and putting it in where the question mark is so let's do the same thing let's get the sum of n numbers but let's do it with this particular construct which is somewhat simpler so we can use our previous function uh, sequence 
to create a, a, a list of numbers from one to max number and we can put that into a variable called a list and then we can um, create again a subtotaling uh, a variable set it to zero and then for each element in our list we'll add into the subtotal where the question mark is replaced by each each particular number one after another in a list which we created over here and let's try to do that so and that gives us 10 as well luckily finally let's take a look at the, the code for this we created a bunch of turtles and, and place them random around the uh, on the screen and what we really want to do is we want to move them but we want to move them one by one and so what we're going to do let's uh, take a look you see that one by one they are moving and when all of the turtles are uh, have moved uh, we're done how do we do that? Uh, the way we do that is <clears throat> we use this construct, who of turtles, which automatically creates a list of all the who numbers of all the turtles. And we put that list into the who's. And then for each element in the who's, for each who uh, of all the turtles, we ask that particular turtle to move forward and also to wait for four tenths of a second so that we can see that it moved and no other turtle moved. And that's it. Please take a look at the exercises.